Well, here we are, Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023. I'm Larissa. My video diary. Morning. Yesterday was first day of spring, huh? I should have listened to Clutch yesterday. Rights of spring, right? I'll listen to Clutch today. I think I will. I'll listen to Clutch today. I have that album at the, at the gallery. Oh, today is the first day of Ramadan for... Muslim folks, right? Getting up early, huh? Getting up early. Have your breakfast before the sun comes up. It's still dark out there. Right now, huh? Yep. And here I am, observing Lent in my way. You know, I'm watching all this stuff, left and right, Republican... Democrat, conservative, liberal, all this shit, right? And then I watched the Libertarians. I was like, oh my God. It's like, I'm a registered Libertarian because I believe in the right of conscience and the right of the individual. And Libertarian philosophy is most closely aligned with that. That being said, like, oh my God, there's, you know, there's really no party or group for me, right? I'm pro-choice across the board. I, I, I believe in the right of the individual. So it's like when it comes to medical stuff, I should have autonomy over my reproductive system. And the rest of my, my, my physiological systems as well. My biological body. Right? Like, don't be telling me what I have to or can't put in my body. And don't put things in my body that I don't want there. Right? So, I, I, I'm pro-choice. And neither side likes the way I'm pro-choice. Also, you know, butt heads with the libertarians over borders. Because, you know, so we live in a structure where we have to pay taxes, right? Forget whether or not you believe that taxes are fair. All right, we're not talking about that. <laughs> talking about what the law is and what you can go to jail for. So like, I don't want to go to jail. So I pay my taxes. Right. <laughs> and as such, since I'm paying that money, I believe in secure borders. Right. So libertarians and Democrats don't like me on that one. I believe in freedom of religion and I believe that freedom of religion includes freedom from religion. Right? Oh. So I don't really fit in with any group. I believe that adults should be able to do with their body what they want. And no, I don't want insurance to be paying for transgender reassignment surgery. No, I don't. You don't need it to survive. So no, I don't want to pay for it. Right? Pay for it out of your own damn pocket. It's a vanity surgery. It's a vanity surgery, like all plastic surgery is. All plastic surgery is vanity surgery. With the exception of reconstructive surgery after severe illness or accident, right? It wasn't an accident you were born. It wasn't an accident you were born with whatever body part you have. It's not an illness that you're born with whatever body part you have, right? Oh, 
So nobody likes me because I don't fit any of their agendas. So what is a person like me to do? What is a person like me to do? I just do my own thing, right? I just do my own thing. Oh. And it just keeps raining. It just keeps raining here. Raining, raining, raining. Raindrops keep falling on my head Just like the man whose feet were too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit How it feels, huh? Nothing seems to fit oh. So I got a new product I'll have to try here soon It's a booby tape product <laughs> Ordered me some new booby tape Yeah Bras are so hard. Hold them up so hard when they're real. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. They say they're going to indict, indict Trump. For what? Like, why are we still beating that dead horse? It just gives him more, just gives him more uh, of a platform to get attention, right? And that's all he really wants. He's just an attention whore. He doesn't really care about anybody. He only does what he thinks is going to get him support, right? And get him money. You know, I, I, he, he has no moral compass and he's disgusting. He really is. He's as gross with women as Joe Biden is. It's like, I, I, I mean, it's like, they're two sides of the same fucking coin. They're both creepy creepers. They're both creepy creepers. Totally. Creepy creepers. Right? I don't like either of them. <laughs> they're both weirdos. I didn't vote for either of them. No, I did not. No, I did not. I voted for Gary Johnson when Trump won. I voted for Gary Johnson. Yeah. And I didn't vote for Joe Biden or Trump, either one, or or Joe Joe, because I couldn't get behind her her for women's reproductive rights or 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 issues at the border. Right. She's anti-choice and pro-open border. I couldn't get behind her. So I didn't vote for her. So who did I vote for? I wrote myself in. I wrote myself in. I voted for myself. <laughs> That's who I voted for. Mm. Uh, I think Jesse Ventura was on. Was, uh, uh, I, I should have voted for Jesse Ventura. I should have. Mm. It's alright voting for myself. I wrote myself in with my running mate as Vermin Supreme. <laughs> Just because, you know, he wears a boot on his head. He must know something. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I don't know who I'm going to vote for next time around. It's all a big mess. One side wants to pump me full of, full of test chemicals. The other side wants to take away my autonomy of a, of a human being and get me pregnant, right? Nobody really, really gives a shit about what I want, about my choice in any of it, unless I say I want a penis. If I say I want a penis, then there's a whole bunch of people who'll be like, oh, good, you could do that. We'll pay for it. I've used, I used, years and years and years ago, I used the term non-binary before anybody else started using it and talking about this. And I don't think people are, I don't know, I must not know what it really, the way they're using it is not what I meant. I was talking about gender roles and gender role expectations. 
Like I don't identify with the gender roles of 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 either sex. And when it comes down to gender, I'm talking about like whether or not you know you have the the parts for which side of making a baby, and that's what the biology is, right? Like, do you make semen or do you make ovum? Right? Do you make semen or do you make ovum? Or do you make both? Some people do. There's a very, but that's so rare. It's so rare. And how, how hard that must be. How hard that must be. I feel like those people are really caught in the middle, huh? And now all of this bullshit is like exploiting those people. Anyway, whatever, whatever. You know, you should be able to be a girl and play with trucks and build things with tools. It doesn't make you a man, right? You should be able to be a, a boy and play with dolls if you want, wear earrings if you want. Like, that doesn't make you a girl. <laughs> it makes you a boy who likes those things. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But all this mutilating children, all these laws about allowing parents to mutilate their children. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's child abuse. It totally is. And it's like the history of where eunuchs come from, I wish Muslim people speak up, please talk about the history of what the caliphate did, right? That's where that came from, right? That's what, that was one of the, one of, one of the ways that the caliphate made chattel out of spoils of war, right? They'd kill the men, they'd take the women into the haram to impregnate them, right, to stud them, and the, me and the, and the boy children, they would castrate or, re or entirely remove their genitals, or just take off their penis, right, so that they could not have sex with the women and they could use them to guard the women. That's what eunuchs were, the eunuch guard. That's where they came from, within the caliphate. They were young boys who were taken from, from, from as spoils of war and from enemy tribes that were conquered. They removed their penises so that they could not have sex or any kind of sexual enjoyment. And then they turned them in, into, into guards for their, for, to, to guard their women. That's where that comes from. Hey Brody. Hey Brody. How are you, buddy? Have you been outside? Do you have dirty feet? Oh, no, you're dry. Come on, you can come up. You're, 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 you are you can come up. Yeah, hey, buddy. How are you? How are you? How you doing? Are you a good boy? You mama's good boy? You are mama's good boy. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy, yeah. He is. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. He cleaned his feet last night. He did. He cleaned his feet so he could get on the bed. Didn't you? Yeah, you did. You cleaned. Yes, you did. You cleaned your feet. You cleaned your feet so you could get on the bed. Come on up. Come on. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. He had a rude awakening, not last night, but the night before, because I told him no. Had to keep rewashing the blankets, the top blankets on the bed because he kept getting on the bed and leaving big old muddy smears dirty smears from his dirty feet, but after one night of not being allowed on the bed, somebody cleaned their feet. Didn't they? Somebody did, huh? Somebody cleaned their footy foots? Yeah, because you're a good boy. You're so smart. He's so smart. You smart? You smartest boy? He's very smart. He's very smart and he's very cute. And he cleaned his feeds. Yeah. My great, great uncle, David Leeds, was partnered with a transgender woman. And I never met her. Met him. Uh, but I never met her. 
my my mother met her and she was always accepted by the family um but he lived my family they, they all lived on the east coast and he lived out here out here on the west coast he lived in, he actually lived in the San Francisco Bay area and he and his and his partner owned like two or three sizzler franchises yeah which they did out here yeah last time i saw him was at my grandparents 50th wedding anniversary so that was a long time ago i was in high school and my mom was really really angry I was angry because he told my youngest sister that she was ugly. <laughs> he got rip roaring drunk. He was. He was ripped, totally ripped, and and his partner wasn't with him. Um, I remember before before the party, my mom was like, I, "We don't know if you're going to get to meet your uncle David's uncle David's partner or not. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know if she's going to be there or not." I didn't, I didn't know until I was much older that that's what the deal was, that she was transgender. It wasn't until, it wasn't until, um, after he died, uh, cause he died. He was one of the first siblings. He was the youngest and he was one of the first ones to die. And I don't know how he died. He died out here on the West coast. Um, but it wasn't until then. And I got, I have a, I have a picture of her. It's just giant hair. And that's when my grandma explained to me that she was a man. <laughs> I was like, oh, a, a biological man. I, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> like, it was never, it was just like, it was his partner. And everybody called her she. Whatever. Nobody disliked her. My grandma said that he was just always a little embarrassed because he was real macho. He was a really macho dude. In a strange way, like he was flamboyant, but he was real macho. Like he was, he was a caricature of manliness. But yeah, he got he got rip roaring drunk at my grandparents' fiftieth wedding anniversary party, and um, told me that I looked like a movie star. And told my little sister that she was ugly. <laughs> my mom was really angry. <laughs> he was drunk and he says, he's like, oh, Mary. He's like, oh, never met you before. You're ugly. <laughs> I was like, and then he walked away. And my mom turned, said, and Mary was like, and I was like, he's drunk. He's just a drunk, mean old man. And that's what she saw him. And he was, he was a drunk, mean old man. He was. So I think I met him a total of three times in my life was at that wedding anniversary and then at two family reunions. He, he came to two, fam no, one family reunion and one time, he, I don't know why he was in town. He was in town for something. He was in town for something in Monroeville. I was real little, I was real little. He was at my, at my grandma's house. We had, we had, we had, I guess we had coffee, they had coffee, they had coffee. They had coffee and I had like apple juice or something. I was real little. I remember sitting in the, in the dining room, not the dining room, the little kitchenette area. I was real little. That was the first time I met him. I was real little because I was like still sitting on the kitchen counter with my grandma while she was cooking and she was still standing to cook. That's my first time I met him. Second time was at a family reunion and third time was at their 50th wedding anniversary. What's going on? You looking for bro? No, don't take him out there with you because he's then he's going to come back in here with dirty feet and want to get back on the bed. Close the door. Close the door so he can't come back in here and jump on the bed with dirty feet. Okay. I know he takes Brody out there with him because he wants to have a little protection too. Anyway. Yeah. Annie, my mom was an interesting lady. Her family was interesting. They were. No, none of them. None of them talked to me. Nobody in my family wants anything to do with me. All right. Not unless I say that there's something wrong with me. 
There's nothing wrong with me. Gotta be true to myself. Gotta be true to myself. One thing Larissa is not is crazy. A lot of things. I'm a lot of things. Crazy I am not. Anyway. The world's crazy. The world's crazy. Oh. I need to get up. I need to get up. Oh, this next time around for voting, I hope there's somebody worth voting for. No, Donald Trump, you are not worth voting for. Mm -mm. No, Joe Biden, you are not worth voting for. No, Camel Toe Harris, mm -mm. you're not worth voting for. No, Hillary Clinton, not worth voting for. No, Tulsi Gabbard, I don't think you're worth voting for either, I don't know. Tulsi, you feel a little too manufactured for me. Where the hell did you come from? I don't even know. Ugh. Might be a moot point, right? If Putin uses that big nuclear bomb he has, the Satan 2, or the Satan 1 for that matter, uses either of those, it'll be a moot point, right? If he invades Alaska, that'll be interesting, won't it? Hmm. That'd be real interesting. Anyway. Mm -hmm.